Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. This is your friend Abhishek, but not a financial advisor. And this video is going to be about how to buy or invest in real estate in Germany. And I have made a lot of videos for all the expats. Being an expat in Germany, I know that buying a real estate in Germany or investing into real estate in Germany can be a bit hectic or a bit confusing to be honest and can be troublesome as well and you can have a look into all the videos which i have made on investing into real estate in germany or how to buy real estate in germany in the i cut above there's a whole big playlist and you will be actually surprised that investing in real estate in germany could be actually really profitable really okay so so without further ado let's jump right into the topic what is this video about so before buying a real estate into germany you should definitely know how much equity you should bring with yourself or capital yeah so just to keep it quite simple so just straightforward you would need two percent of notary fees yeah you would need two percent of notary fees for sure you would need 3.5 to let's say 6.5 percent of property transfer tax yeah and then you might need 3.5 to 5 percent of real estate broker commission and that might range up to 10 to 15 percent of the property price now you can also go without the broker commission free and that would be around eight percent or let's say seven percent or even less yeah so now with that being done now you know that you will definitely need 10 to 15 percent of the equity for all these ancillary costs so why you need that so in the previous years was when interest rates were really damn cheap when the power to borrow money was quite huge and it, the money was cheap then you could actually get also this ancillary cost as uh let's say a private loan you know so you could actually get more than 100 percent credit for buying a house but now since money is expensive the banks are a bit hesitant and this more than 100 percent loan is not possible anymore yeah in my opinion so that's why this is definitely sure that you would need this type of equity for at least covering the ancillary cost or the side cost which are this 10 to 15 percent which is just you know vanishing now many people also think that buying real estate is expensive because of these costs yeah these costs are going out of your pocket and they are just going into someone else's pocket and you're not gaining anything it's not covering your capital or it's not covering anything yeah these are just poof, gone okay but that doesn't mean that you should not invest into real estate again i have made a huge playlist there are many videos out there which you can watch on my channel which will definitely tell you that these costs are nothing when compared to the return what you can get and your return on your investment could be higher much higher than what you are spending okay and you can just cover all these costs in the span of maybe three to four years that's it so then all your net income is all profitable anyways so this video is not about that so let's move forward now the second topic which i would like to cover in this video apart from how much money do i need to buy a property in germany or how much money do i need to buy a real estate in germany or invest in real estate in germany i would like to answer the questions which i get on daily basis actually should we save more money because we don't have that much equity is it the right time to buy a property in germany or invest in property in germany in 2023 or beyond when the money is expensive and the interest rates are high well a short answer to this in my opinion is yes now why let me explain so when you don't have enough equity let's talk about that when you don't have enough equity in the beginning yeah to cover even the ancillary cost which you need for sure you should not stop exploring the market because you never know what kind of a deal you can get if you are trying to live in that house if you are buying a house for your own living then yes you might try to save some money yeah because you will be paying you are not getting any income from that house you are paying from your own pocket and the interest rates are higher so we cannot actually calculate the return which you are getting based on the rental income because there is no rental income in that case i would recommend that keep exploring the market because keep exploring the market stays the same in both cases the second case i will just explain in a moment so in the first case when you are trying to buy a house to live in by yourself for your own use i would say 
keep exploring the market go to the houses talk with the brokers talk with the sellers because this is really important this is how you explore the market because you never know what kind of a deal you can actually get because remember the interest rates are rising yes but at the same time the prices of the houses are also falling yeah so you might get a good deal as a rule of thumb i say that for every one percent of the high interest rate the prices should fall by 10 percent now you might not see 40 percent 50 percent reduction in the prices that's not how it goes but it depends upon city to city how much the price has fallen and that's why you might get a really good value on your investment when you keep exploring the market so never stop exploring the market when you are trying to buy a real estate or invest into real estate in germany now the second group of people who are trying to invest into real estate in germany for rental income as an investment again first rule never stop exploring the market because you never know what deal you can strike so when you don't have enough equity for sure try to save money but don't just keep saving money and put a blindfold on your eyes and not explore the market keep exploring the market save money at the same time because again you never know what kind of a deal you can strike and if you get a really good deal for example let me explain the interest rates for and this will answer the other question as well if, is it right time to buy real estate in germany for investment purposes as well so if you get four percent let's say interest rate yeah and you can find a real estate investment which can yield you around six to seven percent yes there are many apartments or houses in germany for sure which you can find and this is nothing to be honest trust me a multi-family house a mere familian house can yield you more than 12 to 15 percent trust me okay and you don't have to spend millions or 600 700k there are multi-family houses which you can buy for dirt cheap 200 to 300k i'm not talking about munich many i get a lot of comments from people who are living in munich talking about munich i'm talking about other cities as well because there are many cities in germany okay <laughs> and when you are talking about the yield so a higher yield can be achieved not in munich in other cities as well so i'm not talking about munich okay so let me get back on track so you can let's say you yield around six to seven percent your Simpson or interest rate is 4% and you pay a capital of 1%, 5% and you are still positive cash flow of more than 1%, 1% or 2% if we are talking about 6 or 7% respectively. So yes, there is no bad time to invest into real estate. And now people who want to invest into real estate in Germany for their own self. So there is a property appreciation. Okay, now the prices are lower. That means there's a good chance of property appreciation for example so for example if you try to buy a stock which uh, which was trading at 200 euros let's say now it's at 100 euros yeah the chances of getting 200 euros is much higher and you're buying a stock at a cheap value this is what i mean with real estate as well the prices of the properties are down and that means you are buying a property at a cheaper price don't worry about the interest rate interest rate will eventually come down and you have the chance to lock the interest rate only for 10 years or 15 years after that you will get a cheaper interest rate okay so you will pay that high interest rate only for a particular fixed amount of time so you are buying a property at a cheaper price that means the appreciation value will be higher so in the end if you want to sell that property your appreciation and your profits will be much higher okay again in Germany, you have this really good thing that if you're investing into property and if you're staying in that or living in that house, you can sell that after two years and every profit is tax free. And for the investment purposes, after 10 years, you can sell the house and it's tax free profit. This is again another good reason to buy or invest into property in Germany. Okay. So. I know the title of the video was how much money do I need to buy a property in Germany but I just wanted to cover this as well is it the right time to buy a property or invest into real estate in Germany in 2023 or beyond so these are just few reasons I can talk a lot about that but I would like to cover in that other video because I don't want to stress this video for too long and if you guys would like to see more of such videos please use that comment section and of course you are most welcome to also join our patreons community where we talk about real estate tips and tricks and also stock market and I will see you on the other side don't hesitate to contact me and I will be ready to help you out as much as I can no charges nothing no strings attached and that's it for now i will see you in the next one until then stay safe stay healthy and ciao